Well, he got an early start, didn't he? <laughs> Hope y'all doing well. It is a late night on a Wednesday, I think. Yeah, it's not quite Thursday yet. It's about 20 minutes until midnight. I just had a very random encounter tonight. I thought it was worth making a video because it's just some random content and I'm on the way home and it gives me something to talk about and keep my mind off the freaking cold. I'm not wearing much for pants today, so my legs are about to kill me. But I'm not going that fast. Anyway, so today's uh, or tonight's video on the way home is basically just something to talk about an experience I had the night was very interesting and unexpected. I was um, I was at my office working as I should be, just like a good employee, um, and I went down. I uh, actually went over to another building in the evening after work was finishing because I needed to pick up something and I I just randomly bumped into this uh, this girl from Texas I mean Texas in Tokyo you know just of all of all places to bump into somebody and she's like 24 or 25 years old it's pretty good looking kind of tall girl and um, I don't know she was having some issue about where she was trying to go or something I don't know she was just looking really lost and like and just look like I mean she had that look on her face just like like I want to know I, I look like I know where I'm going but I really don't know where I'm going and I, I am, and I'm gonna cry because I can't figure it out I don't think she's gonna cry I'm just I'm just making it more dramatic for the video um, anyway so um, being the good the good person that I am I walked over and just started talking to her to see how she was doing to help anything and then um and she explained that she was trying to where she where she explained where she's trying to go and I was like oh and then I kind of told her what she needed to do and and how she needed to do it and to get where she wanted to go so she could she could have her happy trip to Tokyo so but she was like in totally in the wrong spot so I decided to walk her over to where she needed to be and get her ticket and get her on her way but in the that's I guess that was like a like a 10 minute walk maybe and uh, so in the 10 minutes in that, in that time, um, she was telling me that, oh yeah, she's here alone and it's supposed to be just a kind of her solo adventure to Tokyo after college. And, um, and she was just saying that, you know, it was just really a random trip and she hadn't really made any real plans yet and didn't, hadn't met anybody and didn't come with anybody. So she was, she was feeling kind of lost. Damn the second year. Anyway, uh, yeah, so, um. So we talked a little bit more, and um, and eventually something something came up about sushi, and she was mentioned to me about she really wanted to try sushi, and she didn't have a clue how to go to do it, and she was like, you know, asked me what I recommend, or you know what, you know, like how does it all work, et cetera, et cetera. So I said, okay, well, I can't do that description in five minutes, so I decided that okay, let's just just be the gentleman here, and you know I'll ask her out on a, like a mini date. And I said, okay, fine. You know, if you're free tonight, I'll take you to sushi. So anyway, uh, so we exchanged email addresses, and uh, excuse my sniffling allergies are starting to kick in. So after we exchanged the email addresses, we kind of just touch base real quick, make sure everything worked, and then uh, I told her I said I had some things to take care of. I had to go to another meeting. Um, at a different location, um, I had the bike with me. I was wearing all my bike gear, and it was just kind of bad timing. You know, I'm like, I'm like, you idiot! Like, you have all this other stuff to do, and you just invited some random girl to go to sushi. And um, so I had to kind of replan my entire evening to make that happen. Which, in the big picture, not a big deal. It really wasn't. It just cost me a bit extra money to take taxis and stuff to get back where I needed to be and anyway it was just logistics I made the plan and the plan was for me to pick her up um, near her place where she was staying in Shinjuku um, I gave her a map link and said just be here at this time I'm on my way by taxi I'll pick you up and we're head on to the sushi place and in the meantime I'm like I'm being like 
I wasn't sure what kind of experience to give her because there's a couple of options to do in Tokyo for the sushi experience. Now, most common is your typically typical family sushi like kaiten sushi, sushi ro, sushi zanmai, hamasushi, um, and, a, and, a, and just a plethora of other places you can go to um, to get sushi and have a good time. So I decided to go with the my my trusted favorite, which is sushi roll. Because there's a, they have an app and you can check in on the app and you can not have to wait for a table forever by getting the check-in on the smartphone. So anyway, did that. And on my way to go get her, picked her up. Then we went over to Ikebukuro. Ikebukuro. We went to the sushi road that's there. And uh, actually it actually turned into a pretty good time. I mean, we were there for a lot longer than I really, really, really originally anticipated because um, I thought we'd be there like for an hour and you know, have her try some different sushi, and I, and I was actually kind of, wonder, I was wondering if she'd actually do it, but she actually did, she actually did pretty well, I didn't record any video with her, because A, I didn't have my camera, and B, um, I don't think she was really up to being up on the video, so I didn't, didn't bother with her, so basically, uh, she had sushi, she tried a few different things, um, she wasn't really filled, or I'm sorry, she wasn't really thrilled with wasabi, she's not really into spicy food anyway, and I'm like, you're from Texas, I guess that's a little different. Barbecue is not exactly spicy food in that regard. But anyway, um, so she did pretty well. Um, tried a couple different pieces, and she had some miso ramen at the end, which I didn't recommend because I'm like, you don't, you just don't, you just don't buy ramen at a at a sushi place, especially sushi row. And um, dude, you want to eat, dude, you want to eat my ass? Goddamn. Um, anyway, she was happily eating her miso ramen, and then um, and then we checked out of there. And then I decided to just take her on the train and send her back to where her hotel was. And I had to go find my bike, which I left in a parking garage near my office. But anyway, on the way on the train ride, um, I had to get off before she did. But I quickly just chatted with her a little bit and just, um, I mean, we, ch we chatted. I mean, we talked about everything in that little brief time that we had together. But um and uh, yeah, it's just it's just very interesting. Um, I mean, she's obviously way younger than me, but we have a lot of common interests. So it was actually really fun to talk about some things. And the fact that she, of course, she's living in the states, and I'm not. So it's kind of interesting to hear what's going on in her part of the world compared to where I'm from and how things are today. So we decided to set up another date not really a date date but you know something she she wanted to do she wanted to go out and do something else like Tokyo-ish and um, so looks like we're going to do something tomorrow I think maybe something small but she's here by herself and doesn't really know what else to do so that's what we're going to do so the overall point of this video is it's just it's really cool to have these random interactions with people and the today's was a little more interesting because she was from the U.S. and she was young and by herself. So you're like, it's like, hey, I know what you're thinking, but not really. Now I've had, um, I've had a decent interactions with people. I, you know, I've offered to help people in the past that look like they're lost, but then they just claim they know what they're doing, and yet I watch them walk around in circles for the next hour. So, um, so there's some people that don't like to ask for help. I get that. Um, and then some people really appreciate it. She was one that appreciated it because she wound up having a good night. She had sushi for the first time and she was happy and life was good. So I guess that's all for this video, basically. Just wanted to kind of chat about my little experience tonight. The only downside tonight was just staying out so late. I was eight, I was eight, I was out late last night. Um, I won't go into these details of what I was doing last night. That's not really necessary. But I was out late last night, and I'm out late night again tonight, and I'm dead tired. I'm gonna laugh if he drops his foot on something.
Yes, 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 yes. yes. Alright guys, well thanks for watching. Listen to my little story. Dude, dude, dude. I can't see you very well. Anyway, thanks for listening to my little story tonight. Hope you guys are doing great. I love riding. And hope you do too. Have a good one.